Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 134 of my Gateway Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. The purpose of these videos is to document our journey through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience. I like to call the Gateway Experience a scientific, repeatable process of self-discovery, self-exploration, and ultimately self-mastery or self-actualization. It consists of a total of 36 tapes divided into six waves. We are currently on the third tape, but there's more than just the third tape. The first one is called Discovery. The second one is called Threshold. The third one is called Adventure. The fourth one is called, excuse me, the third one is called Freedom. The fourth one is called Adventure. The fifth one is called Exploring, and the sixth one is called Odyssey. We are currently on the third one, like I mentioned, and we are on the fourth tape of that wave, and this one is called Five Questions. Today was the first day doing this tape, so, but there's a way more tapes other than just this one. So if you haven't seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check those out. That way you can see the entire journey so far. So. Let's get straight into it. Right now it is 7.27 a.m. It's January 5th, 2023. And I woke up this morning at 5.30, which is a little bit late, but it's not a big deal. And we're getting a chance to talk here a little bit over an hour and a half, a little bit under two hours later. So it all worked out. And today I really want to talk about this tape because I feel like this tape is really one of the most powerful ones. And I want to mention something that I talked about before in these videos, which is, you know, it's interesting to me because I really thought that Bob Monroe had a lot of success in his life and then he created the gateway experience. But due to this tape, I'm feeling like it's kind of like a chicken and the egg type of situation. Like this man obviously had his had his head right, um, rest in peace. And um, I think that's really one of the biggest reasons why he had so much success was because of his mind and his understanding of the world we live in. So I won't tease you too long or anything, just kind of giving you vague uh, um, things. I'm going to get very specific very quick. And the way we're going to do that is I'm just going to tell you guys the exact five questions. Now, the only um, kind of caveat with that is that it might not be as powerful for you coming from me because I thought it was really powerful because of the amount of time that I was able to spend on each question and really ask myself and wait for my higher superconscious, subconscious, whatever you want to call it, self to answer for me and I, I saw visions and I saw dreams and I can get into all that but that's not what this is about this is more it is about my journey but I'm, I've made it more about serving you guys and helping you so that you can see what's going on so let's go ahead and read to you uh, these questions and so on the wave uh, the five questions the first one is who am I okay and that seems like so silly, uh, but I'll, I'll show you guys show you guys just one thing that I got from who am I, okay? I got pictures of my profile picture, okay? So that kind of helped me think and think creatively of like, hey, you know, today's environment is so much more than just like, hey, I see someone here on the ground, on the street, or at work. We really have an internet, a worldwide connection where we can really connect with each other feasibly. Maybe it's not fully... Um, open seas or anything like that but uh it's it's fairly it's way better than before so who am i that's a much more complex question who are you okay where and who was i before i entered this physical existence can you imagine asking yourself this question and like really kind of sitting there and like man who was i before i entered this physical existence not only who am i now but who was i before and then after you figure that out, it's like, okay, what is my purpose? I keep looking over here because I'm like looking at myself and I'm talking, but I should be looking at you guys. 
Then the next one is what is my purpose for this existence in this physical reality? Man, what is my purpose for this existence in physical matter reality? Okay, think about that question. What is your purpose? How often do you think about that? Because I know I was in a place where I would be thinking about like video games and girls, you know, and it's actually very, very true until I met my wife. And that's pretty much all I would think about before. Maybe here and there some social media stuff, but that was mostly for girls. <laughs> so it's very, very real. And when you start thinking about these questions, it's like, hey, oh my goodness, maybe I should take this more seriously. So that's why I mean like, hey, maybe Bob Monroe was asking himself these questions before. And that's why he had so much success. So what is your purpose for this existence in physical matter reality? Do you have a purpose? If you don't, then ask yourself because you should, if you don't remember it, remember what your purpose is. So what action can I now take to serve this purpose best? It's not just what is my purpose. Now we're asking ourselves and we're answering the question, okay, what action can I now take to serve this purpose best? You know, somebody said the quality of your life will be determined by the quality of the questions you ask yourself. I believe that was Elon Musk, but I might be wrong. I think when he was 12 years old, he realized this in South Africa. He was uh, making video games and selling them. Or he made a video game. He sold it. And he realized, man, you know, these computers are so intelligent. Our brain is like a supercomputer. And really the output of the brain is really determined by the input. And the input is the questions. So what quality questions are you asking yourself? Okay. And then even more so, Give me answers. Give me even more detailed answers. And not just detailed answers, but the most important answer to this question, which is what is the most important message I can receive and understand at this point in my existence? I mean, like how much more powerful can it get? How much more powerful? I don't even know if it can. What is the most important message I can receive and understand at this point in my existence? Look at that. I mean, come on, you know, like, come on. What is the most important message I can receive and understand at this point in my existence? Man, maybe it's this video. Maybe it's not this video. Maybe it's the next video. Or maybe it's the voice in your head. Maybe it's, you know, that message that you've been really ignoring and really just needs to be driven home. If you ask yourself, hey, look, I am open to hearing you. Hey, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. And tell me, hey, what is the most important message? And I'm willing to listen and understand it and remember it. What is the most important message I can receive and understand at this point in my existence? I'm going to leave you guys with that. I am no master. I am forever a student. I am continuously learning. And I am super excited about looking forward I'm super excited and looking forward to doing more of these and seeing the results that come from these five questions. That's pretty much it. So if you want to communicate with me, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.